Okay, so unfortunately I forgot to press the start button in the workshop when I talked about uh, running auxiliary data center services. So that's why I just um, yeah, will record it and then or re-record it and then uh, put it next to the other container workshop um, videos. So let's jump in. Let's put it on. Okay, so what we experienced the last couple of years or decades even is the commoditization of different parts of the stack, right? So first it was hardware, then operating system, and with virtualization operations got more and more commoditized. And I think it's time to look at service stacks that are beneficial to any data center, even non-HPC data centers, and to look at those and try to carve them out as commoditization as well. So in an HPC data center, um, you most likely have a maybe somewhat specific workload scheduler and your your problems you solve are maybe also a little bit specific and your system might be also a little bit specific. So all the HPC bits and pieces might be different, but if you look at um, the auxiliary um, stacks that everyone needs, so collected metrics and story metrics, presenting metrics, the same as event and logs, um, a common inventory system, tracing of, uh, of yeah, system calls or API calls or even tracing of uh, workloads and alerting. All of them are somewhat common and shared across all data centers around the world, right? And even though you have a specific problem you want to solve and you have specific workload managers and schedulers and, uh, and your problem is my, maybe specific, this are most likely not specific, or hopefully they are not specific. And I talked to a couple of vendors during the, during the venue, and all of them, they somehow create their own, or most of them, and mostly it's not really good integrated with the different parts, so metrics are not integrated with events and logs, and inventory and tracing and alerting, and all of this jazz is very much solved or somehow solved in the data in the open source community and in the cloud community and i think the hpc community should embrace this change or this uh, down uh, hand uh, hand down of of nice tools from um, above or from the cloud <laughs> from the cloud so don't Avoid, why not just use it and i will uh, give a little brief overview of stacks that i think are worth looking at and uh, most of them, or all of them, are, have an open source version or are completely open source and uh, they should be embraced. So for instance, metrics backends are, there are a variety out there. One of the most common one is OpenTSDB, which is based on Hadoop, so it uses HBase as a storage mechanism. Um, then we have CairoDB, which uses Cassandra. Graphite is a very old one, or not old one, one of the first main uh, backends, it just uses POSIX files, which makes it attractive for those who like POSIX files. Um, then we have a new one, which is the Berkeley Tree um, database, which is based on Ceph, which looks also very promising. And um, I use a lot of uh, the times I use InfluxDB, just a single instance um, on my laptop because it's very nicely uh, shaped. It's written in Go, it's very fast to spin up, it's very easy to to uh, configure and uh, serves uh, me quite well. For distributed setups, there is a, a paid solution, so I'm not sure if I won't go for this, but for testing, it's very nice. Front end, there's just Grafana, and I think that's everything someone needs. I mean, uh, if you have specific needs, then please have a look at all the Grafana plugins out there. They have a lot of um, data sources, they have a lot of um, visualization tools, and I think most of the use cases, 90% of the use cases should be solved there. And maybe even looking at Grafana first and try to solve the problem there. And if you really cannot find what you need, then yeah, maybe you have a special need, then maybe you should use something else or you create a plugin yourself and uh, publish it to the community so that everyone can use it. And yeah. For events and logs, the backend, I think it's most likely Elasticsearch as a search index, very fast, very nice, scalable um, database for, for indexing strings. As a long-term solution, maybe it's not the best solution because um, you, know, you might want to store it in HDFS or 
somewhere else just as a zip file or as an object in Ceph so that you do not rely on Elasticsearch uh, for archival storage because the more stuff you have in there, the longer will your search go and um, yeah, having an archival storage, I think it's always worth it, not only for logs, but also for, uh, for the metrics. And for aggregation or collection uh, of logs, um, there are a lot of uh, tools out there. Logstash is one of the more long-standing ones. Graylog is something uh, that's close to Logstash, but also has a front end, and it's quite nice as well. But you could also use our syslog. It has an Elasticsearch handler, so you can just directly push to Elasticsearch with our syslog, but you don't have nice, uh, nice filter mechanisms there. And then you have uh, collection agents like Beats, or uh, the one I'm working on is KuFrame, which is like Logstash in, in Go. So you have collectors, filters, and handlers, and you can retrieve information, then shape them a little bit and push them out to the backends you need. Um, and for the front ends, yeah, here's a sh nice screenshot of Kibana. Kibana, um, I think it's also like gray, uh, Grafana, the, the more common one to use, um, and it's bundled kind of with uh, Elasticsearch nowadays, so um, there's a lot, of, a lot of nice visualizations you can do there. For some of them, you need the uh, paid plugin called X, um, what's it called? X Beats, no, X Things, some X. And, um, but most of the tools are also free and for uh, viewing Elasticsearch, Kibana is maybe the, the tool of choice. If you use Greylog as an aggregator, then you might use Greylog as well as frontend, but for most parts I stick with, with Kibana and it serves me quite nicely. So inventory is, I think, not very established yet to have an open source uh, tool there. Um, one uh, that I used a couple of years ago was Neo4j, so just a graph database, and then I, I just aggregate or I extract information about um, tools and or tools, not uh, nodes and jobs and all this jazz, and put this in the graph database and then visualize it with whatever the graph database provides me. So Neo4j is easy for that. Um, but most more recently, there is a tool called Hocula or Suite, and they also use a graph database. Uh, but they are more integrated, so you have um, metrics that you can push there, you have uh, inf inventory information, and also I think tracing is also part of Ocular. So this is something to um, look into. Um, for front-end, as said, Neo4j has its own front-end, which is pretty easy, and also the Neo4j query language is pretty easy. Uh, and uh, it's close to SQL, and it's if you write something uh, on a whiteboard and you have a node and you have a connection and another node that's this language is very easy to to grasp and um, quite natural but there are a lot of script libraries to create your own front end and maybe open source it as well as I said I think there's no the, the there's no obvious choice for inventory yet but hopefully this will change and most likely it has to be dynamic right because jobs come and go containers come and go so not sure how ocular for instance uh, serves containers, but that's something that is evolving. Tracing is very nice. To, tracing, uh, if you haven't heard of it, is uh, you can normally done for like microservices there you have where you have a, uh, multiple services running a request and then you can uh, look into each request um, and figure out when time was spent, what was what was serialized um, or what would, could only uh, um, executed in a serial manner, what was parallel, and then you can pinpoint where you've uh, lost the most time and then work on that. And it has a nice um, dashboard to look into it. And as I said, it could be used for microservices, could be used for a single service. It could also be used for uh, kind of stuff like a workload scheduler where you not uh, tracing, uh, you do not trace a, a single request, but imagine this request is a slurm job or a job where you instantiate something and then you have all the different steps that were taken place for this job um, to know what's going on in the job then you don't have milliseconds but maybe seconds and minutes and hours even could be also used for this i think that would be a very legit use case to misuse it a little bit then maybe even far further in the future but not so much i think is alerting and and the machine learning that comes with it. So uh, Prometheus is something that gained a lot of momentum in the 
cloud world, so for Docker Swarm and and Kubernetes, um, that's quite yeah, kind of the tool of choice. It, it has a pool mechanism, so you provide an endpoint that specific, that that uh, outlines a lot of metrics, and then Prometheus will come along and uh, and scrape this endpoint every couple of seconds or minutes, depending on how you configure it. And then you can have within Prometheus you can have alerts, and you can um, code this or, or codify this alert so that. For instance, if a, if a job starts or if a service starts, that you create an alert for this specific um, uh, uh, service or job, that would be nice. And there are others like Elastalert for Elasticsearch and Hocula is also some alerting within it and Boson is for metrics and they are capacitor for InfluxDB. So there are a lot of tools out there to create such things. So I have a demo plan, but I have a little demo. Um, if you look at the playlist of the workshop, there is one part where I demo something. So you might ask, well, what's your point now? So I mean, what what should I, should I do with this? And, and I think what I would like to see is that we or you guys or everyone stops reinventing the wheel and tries to come up with his own back end, his own middleware and his own um, front end for this services that everyone needs anyway. And this is and and services that are not really the meat of the of the thing, the meat of your HPC system, but rather a thing that everyone needs. And as all the, or most of the uh, data centers out there, so non-HPC data centers, they provide a lot of cool, nice open source solutions and they are handed down from the big guys in the non-HPC world. And I think it would be worth just using what's out there. and. Maybe create some HPC body or project or whatever it's called within HPC Advisory Council or Open HPC or whatever, so that there are stacks out there where you can uh, look into uh, or where you have a, a list or a Docker file, Docker Compose file, which provides you container images and example stacks to run on Swarm or maybe even Kubernetes or Mesos. So should not be tied to any particular scheduler, but maybe most most likely only the three. Or uh, And then everyone can start sharing dashboards, alert rules, and collectors and experiences with this predefined stacks, which should scale from a laptop to a big data center. And I already have a couple of stacks, um, and I think they, they, will, they should scale to uh, a big scale as well. And as, as I said, and just what comes downstream from the cloud to not reinvent the wheel and be uh, alert or be um, able to adopt to the new cool tools that are out there. So this should be modular and not very tied together so that you can mix and match the different tools. Okay, that would be it for this little video. Yeah, and in addition to that, um, if you want to stay informed, I reckon that you subscribe to my blog or check regularly, that's kneep.org or blog.kneep.org. Um, there I push or publish some blog posts, should do more and I, I hopefully I will do more in the next couple of weeks and months to come. Uh, also subscribe to this YouTube channel, it's uh, Christian Kneep. I will put uh, all the meetups and all the things I'm, do, I'm doing, I'm recording on, on this YouTube channel. And also you could check for an early version of uh, service orchestration. So I have a GitHub repository service orchestration on github.com kneep slash service orchestration where I uh, publish some basic stacks for metrics, logs, and uh, some others. So if you want to see how this might look like to have uh, stacks defined in the interweb, this would be the uh, guinea pig. But maybe I, I create a new one like DC orchestration or something like that um, to publish something. Okay, cool. That would be it. Thanks.